Hey, what is up everybody? Michael here from Michael Alexander Photography and today we are back with a back to the basics Photoshop video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be explaining blend modes. Now the reason I'm going to be explaining blend modes is because when I started with photography, it was one of the more confusing things for me to grasp. I used them, but I didn't understand what they did. I used them because I would see on a tutorial online uh, that somebody switched the blend mode to, for instance, soft light and it worked and I never knew why it worked. So instead of showing you guys how to use it, I'm going to explain what they are used for. Now blend modes are broken up into six different categories. You've got the normal category, you've got the darken, you've got the lighten, you've got the contrast, you've got the inverse, and then the utility category. Now personally, I would love for Photoshop to label it as such because it would be a lot easier for me to understand it as a beginner. But alas, you have to do some research and you have to go learn it somewhere else. Now firstly, let's look at what the darken blend mode does. Now the one you're probably more familiar with is multiply. Now what this blend mode does, it removes all the highlighted or bright areas from the above layer so that the below layer shows through. So basically with the rest, there are just different parameters of how that effect gets applied on the layer. Next up is the lighting category. And now this is also one you're probably more familiar with, which is screen. Now screen removes all the dark areas of the above layer so that the bottom layer can be shown through those areas. And again, similar to the darkened one, the rest are just different intensities or different parameters that get applied to this blend mode. Next up is contrast. Now the two I use the most often is overlay and soft light. Now what this does, if you look at like the color picker layer, contrast is anything from white to black and how it gets applied to the photo. So if we go onto soft light on this gradient, you will see the darker area is more saturated, more punchy, more contrasted than the below areas. Because in the whites, there's not a lot of contrast, but in the black, there is contrast. We also use the contrast layer with overlay for sharpening. For instance, when we do a high pass filter to sharpen the images, and essentially what that does, it creates contrast between the pixels. So as you can see here, we have sharpened the image a little bit. If we switch overlay off, you'll see it's just this gray mess. But if we switch it back to overlay, we see the sharpening happen in the pixels, the contrast being increased within the pixel range. And the other one we use quite often when we are editing is the utility layer, namely the one that says hue, saturation, color, and luminosity. And I thought the best way to explain it is an old trick that Nino's done countless of times on the channel, and that is a chroma luma split. Now, if you look at the layers individually, the chroma layer is just the color and saturation details. And the luma layer is the luminosity value or, you know, brightness, but there's a big it, brightness and luma is not the same. There's some other videos on the channel that you can go check out if you want to see that explanation. So how do we get this finished image with these two layers? And that is with the utility blend modes. So when we are on the chroma layer, we do color blend mode. If we change it, it doesn't work. If we change it to contrast, it doesn't work. But if we move it back to color, it does work. Because what that's doing is only giving the color information to the below layer. Similar can be done with the luma layer. Now let's just switch these around. Now, as you see, we are currently on a normal blend mode. But if I move it down to luminosity, the image is correct again. Now what that does, it only allows the luminosity values to be applied to the underlying layer. Now, there are a lot of different ways you can use blend modes to your advantage. These are just a few ways, and I hope this explanation helped you to understand blend modes a lot better. Now, I wish back then when I started photography, I found a video that explained uh, blend modes like I just did, because I fumbled around with this subject for the longest time. So that is it for today, guys. Please leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, definitely ask them. We are here to answer as many questions as we can. We definitely appreciate all you guys' feedback. It's always greatly appreciated. It helps us know which direction you guys want us to go, whether we're doing tips and tricks or high detail editing or you know high information videos or just these quick how-to back to the basic videos. So yeah. We're really enjoying hearing from you guys. And don't forget to give us a like because that definitely helps the video be seen by more people. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.